Kim Jong-un net worth and lifestyle. Politicians aren't always the first thing to spring to mind when discussing the wealthiest individuals in the world, yet some of the world's top leaders have fortunes worth billions of dollars. Kim Jong-un The most well-known and frequently mentioned figure to emerge from Asia is one of those top leaders. The spotlight of today's video will be on the net worth and lifestyle of this elite politician who governs the lives of 25 million people and serves as both the leader of North Korea and the Workers' Party of Korea since 2011. Would you believe it if we told you that the leader of North Korea reportedly earned 34 million per month and that he has a net worth of close to 5 billion? It's mind-boggling to discover that the leader is said to own a private island, 17 palaces and mansions located throughout his country, as well as an incredible collection of expensive cars including a fleet of 30 Mercedes and a custom-made 200-foot yacht. Stick around to the very end of this video to hear more about the Supreme Leader's instrumental childhood, political career, opulent lifestyle, and much more. There isn't much information available about Kim Jong-un's early years because North Korea is a very close country and he has spent the majority of his life hidden from the public. North Korean authorities assert that he was born on January 8, 1982, even though his exact date of birth is unknown. He was the second of three children, and he is a direct descendant of Kim Il-sung, who founded North Korea in 1948 and served as its founder and supreme leader until he died in 1994. As a side note, Kim is the first head of state from North Korea to be born there. According to reports, Kim Jong-il's children resided in Switzerland, and it is thought that Kim attended a private school there while posing as the son of a diplomat. Upon returning to Pyongyang in North Korea, the majority of reports stated that Kim Jong-un attended Kim Il-sung University, a prestigious officer training institution there, from 2002 to 2007. Kim graduated from Kim Il-sung University with a degree in physics and from the Kim Il-sung Military University with a degree in army officership. He was described as an inspirational, well-rounded student who enjoyed playing basketball. It's said that despite being the supreme leader, he enjoys playing basketball and video games in his spare time. He also enjoys Jackie Chan action movies. Kim Jong-un started going with his father on military inspections when he was a young adult. He was believed to be employed by either the General Political Bureau of the Army or the Korean Workers' Party, also known as the KWP, which was the country's ruling party and both of which were involved in the surveillance of public officials. He was chosen to head the state security department and he took that position in June 2009. Despite having no prior military experience, he was given the title of four-star general in September 2010. His appointment was made just before the Korean Workers' Party's first general assembly in 1980. Kim was given the unofficial title of supreme leader after the passing of his father in December 2011, indicating his status as the head of both the government and the country's armed forces. His standing was confirmed by the acquisition of various official titles in April 2012, including the first secretary of the KWP, chairman of the Central Military Commission, and chairman of the NDC, which at the time was the nation's top administrative body. Now let's take a closer look. How affluent is he really? What does his way of life comprise? Kim Jong-un, who is ranked 36 on Forbes' 2018 list of the world's most powerful people, is estimated to be worth a whopping $5 billion as of October 2022. The head of state and his family held billions of dollars worth of assets and bank accounts, which were uncovered in March 2013 as a result of an investigation by U.S. and South Korean officials. More than 200 foreign bank accounts, including those in Australia, Liechtenstein, Russia, Singapore, China, Switzerland, and Luxembourg, had these assets. Although we only see the world's youngest dictator outfitted in a black basic outfit whenever he appears in public, it's evident that he leads a luxurious existence behind closed doors. Ryongsong Residence, the North Korean leader's residence, is where Mr. Kim Jong lives with his family. Subsequently, the dictator lives a secret of life, much like the rest of North Korea. According to rumors, he and his wife, Ri sol Ju are the parents of three kids. The Ryongsong residence features banquet rooms, a shooting range, an Olympic-sized swimming pool with a huge water slide, spas, running track, and rooms with opulent interiors. 
Additionally, the palace is well protected and secured in case of any violation. In addition to this, he also owns 17 other palaces and a private island. The supreme leader of North Korea appears to have spared no expense for his residence, as seen by the number of mansions and palaces that are located throughout the country. Kim Jong-un spends a lot of time on a private island off the coast of North Korea, as indicated by his friend and former basketball star, Dennis Rodman. The Kamsusan Palace of the Sun, built in 1976 by the forefathers of South Korea, is the most well-known estate of the North Korean leader. It was once the country's main residence, but now it serves as the burial ground for former presidents. If you are familiar with the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, then you'll know that its two late leaders, Kim Il-sung and Kim Jong-il, are basically worshipped as deities. They transformed the presidential residence into a cemetery because, upon death, a simple burial wasn't enough for them. According to some accounts, its remodeling alone may have cost almost $900 million, giving you a better sense of the level of elegance and sophistication. Being in charge of the country gives Kim the ability to ride in style. Having said that, let's have a look at the collection of vehicles owned by Kim Jong-un. It's estimated that he holds more than 100 luxurious cars. He claims to own a Land Rover Discovery, which can cost more than $60,000 and is a rugged vehicle, capable of providing a great deal of security for all of its passengers. Furthermore, he was seen inside a Lexus 1S, a new premium sedan which may cost more than $100,000. He also reportedly has a fleet of 30 Mercedes, including the Mercedes Maybach S600PG and S62. He is also the owner of a 200-foot-long, fully customized yacht that is thought to have cost right around $7 million. And last but not least, Kim Jong-un has a fleet of airplanes at his disposal to travel to various locations across the world. The major and most frequently used by the Korean leader is the Type IL-62, a Soviet long-range aircraft with seating for approximately 200 people and a private jet worth 1.5 million US dollars. It is said that he spends a significant amount of money having additional locations built that provide him with plenty of enjoyment, including a movie theater with more than a thousand seats, stunning golf courses, resorts with ski slopes, riding tracks for his racehorses, and much, much more. Isn't it interesting to hear that this 39-year-old powerful leader enjoys spending more money on alcoholic beverages, pets, and perfumes than on the people of his country? Although Kim Jong-un is less popular than other world leaders in terms of political influence, the media has paid him a lot of attention. It's expected that Kim Jong-un would have a sizable net worth as one of the most powerful people in the world and the leader of a country with an estimated population of over 25 million, even though he is not included on Forbes' list of the world's richest people, as the publication does not take into account the assets of monarchs and dictators. In closing, although little is known about North Korea's current leader, Kim Jong-un's net wealth is projected to be $5 billion, and it's evident that as long as he is in office, his net worth will rise, making him the richest man in the world. Because it's thought that Kim will continue constructing his regime while keeping the country and its operations under wraps, 